So, Americans are going back to Africa. They will be going to back to Africa. They are already in Africa. We have seen like in the past week, the government of Ghana invited them actually to come to rediscover their ancestry, their origin after being actually uh, forcefully removed from Africa over 400 years ago. Well, greetings and welcome to my channel. So guys, uh, today we'll be discussing a life of Americans in Africa, life of Americans in Ghana, or the life of black Americans in Ghana. So um, they have been brought uh, in America. They are used to the lifestyle of America. But is uh, that this question or the big question we should ask ourselves? So welcome to today's video, which will be are uh, discussing what life is like for Americans who are moving to Ghana, who have already moved to Ghana, who are thinking of uh, moving to Ghana. So Ghana is a beautiful country uh, with rich cultural heritage and is located in the western coast of Africa. If you are thinking about moving to Ghana, there are many things to consider and we will uh, be discussing that in this video. So feel free to like, uh, drop your comment, add, subtra subtract, uh, any point that you feel we have left out and share with your friends. So let's start by talking about the cost of living in Ghana. So the cost of living in Ghana is relatively low uh, compared to the United States. However, the cost of living can vary greatly depending on where you choose to live. If you choose to live in urban, in rural, you know, in the remote district, yeah, so the cost of living will actually depend with the place where you will live. The capital city of Accra is the most expensive city to live, with housing, transportation, and food being more costly than, the, than in other parts of the country in general the cost of living in ghana is affordable and you can expect to save money if you are living the modest life in african uh, like in the remote part uh, life is cheap uh, if like you have the investments if you have big business running but uh, when you are a low-income earner in the rural areas, life can be costly. Let's talk about the healthcare system in Ghana compared to the healthcare system in America. So Ghana, Ghana's in healthcare system is not advanced as of that of United States but it is improving in major cities like Accra. There are modern hospitals and medical facilities. However, in rural areas, the medical facilities are limited and you can or you may need to travel to the nearby city to receive your special uh, medical uh, treatment or the adequate medical care that you are needing it's as it is advisable to actually um actually obtain health insurance covers that cover that will cover your medical expenses in ghana 
before moving to the country. Ghanaian's infrastructure is improving, but there are still some areas that need attention, needs more attention. The road network is a decent in major cities, but can be quite challenging when you move to rural areas. The power supply in Ghana is relatively unreliable. I think this covers both. Uh, yeah. You can say the, about the uh, power supply. That's in, in Ghana, it's a bit unreliable, but you know, you can have your like solar panels, your backup generators, yeah, to make things uh, easier. So in most African countries, uh, we experience power outrage or outage, uh, which occurs frequently. Water supply can be also um, challenging and some areas may not have uh, access to clean water in the remote part of Africa or Ghana. However, major cities like Accra, they have a reliable water supply and pressure is improving day in, day out. In other areas of the country, we see that there is also um, the will to improve. So let's talk about the culture of Ghana and America. So uh, recently there's uh, somebody who post like... Uh, and the Americans need to actually uh, leave their culture and come and blend in African culture. You know, African culture can be seen as barbaric. African culture can be seen as outdated. But this is the most beautiful culture to actually uh, live in, to actually blend in. So Ghana is a culture culturally or culturally a rich country and there are many things to experience and enjoy. The country has a diverse population and the locals are friendly and welcoming to the foreigners. Yeah, you can see the case of how um, they were all welcomed. Yeah to the country of which African, other African countries need to impress. Like my home country, Kenya, you need to invite these uh, black Americans to actually come. Yeah? Yeah, send them invitations. We say invitations or invitations. Ghanaians, Ghanaians are, are known for their love of music and dance and there are many uh, festivals and events throughout the year that you can uh, attend as a foreigner that you can uh, enjoy when you attend as, as foreigners let's talk about the food in the country yeah ghana has most uh, delicacies uh, original delicacies amazing delicacies that can be enjoyed when you move uh, back to the country they yeah, are delicious uh, you should actually think of trying them so how is the safety of Americans in Ghana? How is the safety of any foreigners in Ghana? So let's talk about, about the safety. So Ghana is considered to be the safest country uh, compared to other African countries. That one I can attest. You know, have ne I've never heard or if there's uh, like insecurity, safety issues in the country is not as rampant as other African countries. You know, you can see other African countries, you see like the foreigners, the expert has been rejected, they have been done this and that. But in Ghana, uh, uh, that is not the case. So, however, uh, there are crimes that can still occur, especially in uh, major cities like uh, Accra. Yeah, so I think... Uh, you, uh, safety starts with you guys so uh, if you're moving yeah, yeah, start by protecting yourself then think of government protecting you you know you can't uh, just move in the ghettos at night you expect uh, to have a security no you have uh, to actually uh, 
um, amend or start uh, the security yourself. It's advisable to uh, take precautions such as avoiding uh, walking alone at night, uh, moving in the ghettos, you know, not carrying he heavy uh, sum or lump sum of money. Uh, when moving around the country, when moving along the streets, yeah, so uh, practice precautions. You know, um, I've seen uh, videos, you know, I've seen videos of Americans who have moved in Ghana. Actually, they have like moved, you know, they have uh, moved in the, uh, let's say, that, like the remote part, you know, where the parts were actually. Uh, there's a less uh, population, as less people in there, yeah. So uh, as they move to these places, you know, it's just a life enjoyable. So I uh, take your step, take your precaution, uh, do your research before moving to Ghana. But I bet you will actually enjoy. In conclusion, uh, moving to Ghana can be a great experience for Americans, for any foreigners. The cost of living is affordable. The culture is rich, the rich culture, yeah? And the locals are more welcoming and friendly. However, there are some challenges that you will experience. The infrastructure uh, in some um, parts, you know, uh, so the healthcare in some parts, the health system, you know, the, the safety in some parts, but it's important to uh, do your research and prepare thoroughly, you know, before uh, moving to Ghana. If you are planning carefully and have an open minded to blend to for act, uh, like uh, have an open-minded expectation you can uh, definitely uh, survive and actually live uh, in that uh, beautiful countries so uh Ghanaians, uh, please uh comment down what we have missed the americans uh please comment down what you actually expect uh, when moving to ghana so till next time guys Adios. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and if you wish to join my membership, it is there. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.